Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting, and it's painter review time again. And this time we're going to be revisiting the seller I Pan for Gold. Now I have reviewed this seller previously, but it was a very, very long time ago. In fact, it's so long, I don't even remember when I reviewed them, but I do know it was a very long time ago. And today we're going to be digging into his 1.2 gram bag, but I don't know if you can see that or not but the bag was leaking, so I had to put it into a Ziploc bag because the top pretty much just busted open. It wasn't sealed very well, but we're gonna find out how much gold's in there. It was guaranteed 1.2 grams on the day of purchase, so I don't think I lost any gold out of the packaging, but the only way to find out is going to be classify it down, pan it out, and get the results. But before that, Let's flash up the description. As you saw, not a very detailed description. It does have a lot of information, but just not a lot about the pater itself. It does tell you there should be 1.2 grams of gold in here and that it should roughly weigh about one pound. They also have a disclaimer stating that the weight will vary due to moisture and other things. So I'm guessing that's to tell you the pater might show up wet. It also does tell you that the pay dirt consists of material from Alaska beach sands as well as crushed quartz from North Georgia. So let's weigh this up, see how much is in here. And there you go. Try not to make a mess here and spill anymore. One pound, 9.9 .9 ounces. So well over the pound they state. And again, as you saw, the bag was leaking. And the thing that I found weird about that is that when he sent this to my secret shopper, it came with another very thick plastic bag with the receipt, a sticker, and a business card. And he could have put the pay dirt into that bag of pay dirt and double bagged it. Not sure why they're not doing that. Seems like an easy solution to stop problems like this where the bag's failed and the tape caught a lot of dirt hopefully no gold in there i will try to check it later open this up Let's see if there's any magnetite in here it does look a little damp I don't think I'm going to dry it off. I'm just going to try and classify it as it is. But no real magnetite in here at all. So I'm going to be really curious to find out where the gold is at in here. So let's just listen to some music and classify this down. Okay, all done classifying, and as you can see, probably the majority of the material is in the minus 10 plus 20, then equal amounts in the plus 10 and the minus 20 plus 40, and the least amount in the minus 40. So I'll be really curious to find out where this gold is. I am guaranteed 1.2 grams, so let's set up some water, pan this out, and find some gold due to humidity and other things. So have my water, have my pan, have all my pay dirt here, and let's just get started with the plus 10 and with some more music.
Well, finished panning everything out as you saw, and that was fairly easy painter to go through, but we'll discuss that in a minute. For now, let's just show you the gold I found. In the plus 10, I did find some gold. Four nice little pieces there. And I don't know if you can see or not. I'll try to take a picture and add it in a second. But that one little piece is a gold wrapped piece of quartz. So it's really, really nice. So very happy with the results in the plus 10. In the minus 10 plus 20, even more gold. A really nice little pile there. Probably 25, maybe 30 pieces. In the minus 20 plus 40, even more gold. A really, really nice pile. Probably close to 50 pieces. And lastly, in the minus 40, even more gold, but not much. Maybe 20 little pieces in there. So let's just weigh this up, starting with the plus 10. Zero point nine seven zero, pretty good. And I am only guaranteed one point two grams in this, and that pretty much almost took care of it. Zero point three nine zero. So I'm pretty sure I've hit the one point two grams I was guaranteed. Now, minus twenty plus forty. And this is all pretty much bonus gold at this point, 0 0.325. And I don't think this minus 40 is going to budge the scale, but we're going to try it. Nope, no luck. But. one point six nine zero so really good i'm really happy with that when i'm only guaranteed 1.2 grams to get 1.69 is pretty good so let's just talk about pater difficulty now for pater difficulty i would say this is pretty easy material to go through it did cloud up the water a little bit in the end but not enough to really make it hard to pan out and the minus 40 gold that is there is pretty large minus 40 gold. It's in the minus 40 to minus 50 range. So no real fine flower gold in the minus 100, minus 200. And like you saw, if you didn't find it, it wouldn't have budged the scale. And I still would have recovered 1.69 grams of gold. So for a beginner painter, I'm going to give this a medium just because there is a little bit of flower gold. But for an advanced painter, it's going to be an easy bag of painter to go through. And for an expert painter, it's going to be easy as well. So now, let's just get to the ROI and the review. All right. Finish calculating my ROI, writing up my review, and let's get right to it. This again was from ipanforgold.com. It was their one pound placer dreams bag. It was guaranteed 1.2 grams of gold. Its cost was $88. Shipping to my secret shopper was $10.52. So total cost right here, $98.52. Gold recovered again right here, 1.690 grams. A lot more than the 1.2 grams I was guaranteed. Now, gold spot on the day that this was received was $59.40, making this gold value worth $100.39, making my ROI 101.90%. Now, for fun factor, I'm giving it a 10. I got a one, over 100% ROI and four really nice little pickers in there. So really happy with this painter. I am so glad to come back and review this. This has probably been one of my most requested re-reviews where people have asked me to go back and check Michael over at iPan for Gold out. And I'm really glad I did because I got an over 100% ROI, a 10 for fun factor, really good times. Now for painter description, 
It's a pretty basic description, but I am bumping him up a little bit to an eight because he does have a lot of information where it tells you the amount of gold you'll find, where the pay dirt comes from. It might come damp, so the weight might vary, things like that. I really enjoyed it. The one downside on his description though, and it is a warning, is he tells you that there will be a pop-up to add more gold to your bag of pay dirt. I hate pop-ups. And his website is so flooded with pop-ups from newsletters to every time you go to any page, it's asking you, do you want to add more gold or add more of this? It has been proven that pop-ups reduce sales. In the 80s and early 90s, pop-ups were the thing. 2020, nobody needs a pop-up on their site anymore. I'm not deducting any points for that, but it's just a personal pet peeve. I really dislike pop-ups on websites. I don't think they should be on there. There's much better ways to add gold or add extra products to a sale. Now for quantity and packaging, he's getting an 8.5. 10 for quantity because it was well over the pound of pay dirt that he was guaranteeing. But for the packaging, while I normally would have given him an 8, I'm only giving him a 7 because the bag essentially wasn't really sealed. It was open and he didn't double bag it even though he sent an extra bag. So for quantity and packaging, he's getting an 8.5. Now for customer service and shipping, he's getting a nine. 10 for customer service. Michael has always been really good at replying to emails and I've never heard of anyone having any issues with this customer service. For shipping, he's only getting an eight and that's because he uses zone shipping rates and I am not a fan of zone shipping rates. For example, my secret shopper paid $10 and 52 cents to receive that bag of pay dirt. While if I would have ordered it, it would have only cost me $7 and 42 cents, which would have raised my ROI to a 105.20%. So I would have actually gained $2.50 worth of gold. But because my secret shopper lives a little bit farther away from me, he got penalized $2.50. And as you saw, that bag of pater will fit in a small priority mailbox, which has a flat rate. Regardless of where you live in the country, you would only be paying about $7.45. So not sure why he's adding on an extra $2.50 to use zoned rates. Not a fan of it. So for customer service and shipping, he's only getting a nine. So total score for ipanforgold.com is a 9.1. So even with the flaws that I found in this pay dirt, it is still a really great pay dirt at 9.1 and an over 100% ROI. So I'm definitely glad I came back to this pay dirt. I had a ton of fun, found some really nice gold, and ended up really happy. So all that's left is to flash up the score and give away a 24 karat gold plated dime. So let's just flash up the score right here. Now before I give away the 24 karat gold plated dime, I do need to give a shout out to some of my newest Patreon members. And that's Chris Nelson, John Henry, and Diggin' Diggin' It. So thank you all very much for supporting this channel. And now for today's 24 karat gold plated dime winner, that's gonna go to Hermit Dan. So Hermit Dan, make sure you email me so I can send this off to you. And to everyone else, thanks for watching. Happy panning. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button below.